guys, what I can tell you is that at the moment, from what I'm told, Real Madrid have not agreed anything with sporting hey guys welcome back to the channel fabrizio romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market today guys answering to your questions about the situation of gonzalo inacio a potential done deal with real madrid and also something to clarify about reese james let's jump into it together <music> Let me start today's video by mentioning the story we had in Spain in the last 24 hours about one of the most talented centre-backs around Europe, Gonzalo Inacio, because some Spanish media reported in the last 24 hours that Real Madrid already almost closed a deal for Gonzalo Inacio in the January transfer window. Some reports saying that the deal is almost done for 60 million euros, the value of the release close into the new contract of Gonzalo Inacio signed last August for the January transfer window. We know Real Madrid had the injury of Eder Militao, not an easy situation in terms of injury this season in general at Real Madrid, and so we had this rumor about Gonzalo Inacio. But guys, what I can tell you is that at the moment, from what I'm told, Real Madrid have not agreed anything with Sporting for Gonzalo Inacio. There is no agreement and there is not even a concrete negotiation at this stage. Probably this rumor is coming from uh, the mission of Real Madrid scouts who are always around as all top club scouts around Europe to keep an eye on clubs, talents, players and this is what they did also in Portugal because many times Real Madrid scouts have been to Portugal and Gonzalo Inacio is one of the most interesting players in that position so for sure they know him very well but at the moment from what I'm hearing Real Madrid are not negotiating and have not closed any deal for Gonzalo Inacio at this stage so nothing is done and nothing is guaranteed for the January window at the moment the situation is still quiet it's just about normal scouting for Real Madrid for a very talented player remember what I told you one month ago about Gonzalo Inacio is that the player has been for a long time in the list of many clubs in England including Newcastle including Liverpool but also Manchester United are uh, exploring uh, the conditions of this player uh, not in terms of financial point of view at the moment is not the negotiation but scouting the player so keeping an eye on Gonzalo Inacio because as I told you uh, the intention of Man United is to sign an important center back in 2024 let's see what is going to be January window or summer window also depending on the opportunities and on the budget but for sure Gonzalo Inacio uh, together with Antonio Silva, Tapsoba, uh, Todibo for sure is one of the players being monitored by Manchester United so at the moment it's just about scouting there is still nothing concrete what's real is the release close we always mentioned that in August was an exclusive news we said here 60 million euros but Real Madrid have not proceeded with that close at this stage then we will keep you posted if we hear more news about that and also guys on Rhys James something to clarify we always see rumors about Real Madrid and their appreciation for Rhys James coming from uh, the Spanish media but guys from what I'm hearing it's important to send the message that Chelsea have about Rhys James they consider him a really important player for their future he's been really unlucky with the injuries but all people at the club because he's an English player because he's an important very important fullback and because they believe his potential is still very big they all want Rhys James to be an important part of the project that's why he's the captain that's why he has the armband and this this is why they, I mean Pochettino, people in the board and also the owners, see Rhys James as a very important player for the future of Chelsea. So at the moment, around Rhys James, the situation remains quiet and the focus of the player is also to do his best for Chelsea. And this is why he signed a contract extension almost one year ago. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Gonzalo Inacio, on Rhys James. I wait for your opinion here in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.